Welcome back. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question, visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com. Dr. Shabir, this is a question from someone in Germany saying, we are Muslims living in Germany, and we can't decide whether we should be buried here in Germany in a Muslim graveyard or Turkey, where our origin is. Is there any relevance? In Germany, you have to be buried in a wooden coffin. Are there any must-dos of an Islamic funeral? Hmm. So the quick answer to that is uh, bury in Germany, because that's where you live. And, um, you know, to, to transport your body to Turkey would involve a lot of time, expense, and uh, much ado. Uh, whereas uh, the Islamic funerals are expected to be, um, you know, simple and, uh, and quick. Um, so uh, what are the must-dos of uh, the Islamic funeral? Well, um, uh, I don't know if there's anything that is, I can describe as a must-do, but, but th th these are the procedures usually uh, that we can describe, the traditional pr procedures. But more to the point of, of the question, uh, you need to bury as soon as possible. I mean, that, that's an Islamic recommendation. Um, so you don't want to keep the body too long. You don't want to keep the family grieving and waiting. And there's this state of suspense. We have a dead body, but it's not buried. This is like a weight on the mind of the family. They cannot move on because they, they are stuck. They have a, a dead to bury, mm -hmm. right? So, um, so, so do it as quick as possible. Now, the fact that in Germany they have to bury in a wooden coffin and perhaps what they're, these, well, the questioner is thinking that if we go back to Turkey, then maybe we'll be buried in a simpler manner without Just a box. Just with the shroud, yes. Yes. Uh, so, you know, without the shroud, this is uh, described in Islamic, uh, I mean, without the, the box, this is described in Islamic tradition. But in many parts of the world where the soil may, may be too loose or whatever the case is, then people use the box as a way of, uh, of containing the body so that, uh, you know, the, the burial is seen to be done properly and to everyone's satisfaction. So there's no harm in, in using the box uh, where it is necessary, especially where it might be legislated and required by law, so this is out of your hands. You can just go with that local requirement. It does not affect the Islamic um, uh, procedures, or it, it does not harm your dead relative, the fact that you have gone through this uh, procedure. So a, a simple way of disposing of the body, um, this is what is required. Uh, the uh, prayer, of course, is a requirement. So this is a must do, mm -hmm. the, the prayer. And of course, this can be done whether in Turkey or in Germany. You don't have to ship the body back to Turkey. Now, if we, uh, you know, I, I wanted to be short with this question, but if we wanted to elaborate, we can talk about, you know, the expenses that people go into to ship their bodies to, uh, their dead bodies to another country, um, you know, the flight, the embalmment, uh, and, and all of these actually involve a lot of undesirables from an Islamic point of view. Mm -hmm. um, because we want to keep the body whole. We don't want to de de desecrate or dissect the body in any way. Uh, all procedures that people go into, like uh, well, outside of Muslim circles, people go to elaborate lengths, yeah. you know, they, <laughs> they replace the makeup, dentures, yeah. they uh, try to stimulate the face to uh, make it appear like the person has a smile and all of that. So all of this is unnecessary. We're going back to meet God. And what ma matters at this point uh, for the soul, not so much for the body, uh, well, for the body it doesn't matter, but for the human soul. What matters are the good deeds that we have done and the prayers now that people will make on our behalf and the good deeds, the charity that people will give uh, uh, on our behalf. All of that will be meaningful to us, looking nice in the coffin. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, that does not really have any relevance to the person. And even for the grieving family, like, uh, you know, for a Muslim family, uh, what we want is not so much to see the, the body of the deceased looking nice. We want to see that this deceased person is a person who is uh, decorated with good deeds, and, and, uh, and we will continue to decorate this person with more and more good deeds. Thank you for sharing that, Dr. Shabir. You're welcome. If you enjoy this video, then please support us this Ramadan. Here are three ways. Thank you, and may God bless you and your loved ones today and always.